Welcome to Our Lady Queen of Martyrs Parish. Community, Father Ray, the staff, and myself, Deacon Tom, welcome the return of public masses beginning this Saturday at 4.30 on May the 30th. Those who wish to attend Mass are more than welcome to do so, but be aware that there will be restrictions in place to protect the health and welfare of all present. Please note that the Bishop's dispensation from attending Mass is still in effect. It is not necessary or an obligation to attend Mass in person currently. People with health concerns, who feel they are at risk, or who do not feel well should stay home for the protection of everyone in the faith community. I am about to explain the requirements for attending Mass in detail so you know what to expect. If you feel you cannot abide by these rules, again, please stay home for the welfare of the community. Mass by Bishop Barron will still remain available on the parish website. First, please arrive 10 to 15 minutes before Mass starts. You must park in the back lot and not in the semicircle in the front of the church. This area will be closed off for all vehicle traffic. If you are handicapped or need assistance, you may enter the church by this side door and proceed to the elevator. For those who are not handicapped, proceed down the paved area beside North Street or by the side of the church by the statue of Mary. Be sure to keep a six-foot distance between your group and the group or family ahead and behind you. Each group needs to have face masks for everyone over the age of two. When you reach the front of the church, stay in line with six feet of space between each group. We are not putting tape or markers on the ground to show you exactly where to stand. Please use common sense and keep your distance. The line on each side should alternate into the church taking turns. The doors will already be open, so you do not need to touch them at all. Here a masked usher will meet you and direct you to your seat. A collection basket is available when you enter the main body of the church. There will not be a collection during the offertory, so please use this basket upon entering. The ushers will be instructed on the best way to seat people in the church, following the best safe distance protocols. This means you must listen and follow the direction of the usher. It also means you will most likely not be able to sit in your favorite place or the exact spot you've sat in for the last 10 years. If you want to attend, you'll need to be flexible in where you sit. Those who are handicapped will also be met by an usher who will help them to an appropriate seat. Be aware, with six feet of space between people, the dedicated handicap pew will fill quickly. You may need to be closer to others than you hope. When you sit down, you will notice there are no missalettes or hymnals. There isn't a way to properly sanitize these books between masses, so they have been removed for now. If you want to follow along, there are many smartphone apps that will have the readings and mass prayers on them. Or bring in a personal copy from home. Just be sure to take it with you when you leave. The priest and liturgical ministers are not required to wear masks during the celebration of mass, but they are required to wear them during the distribution of Holy Communion. During the offertory, the gifts supplied by the congregation will already be on this table and brought by the server to the altar on behalf of the congregation. Leaving them in the back and having people bring them down the aisle is a risk we do not want to accept currently. During communion, only the host will be offered. The precious blood will be consumed on the altar by the priest. There will be three communion stations at the front, Father Ray in the center, and other ministers to either side. Everyone receiving communion must receive our Lord in the hand and not on the tongue. The ushers will guide the congregation to the front of the church to receive communion, leaving six feet of social distancing space between each group. There will not be marks on the floor of the church showing people exactly where to stand, so please use common sense. When you have received the host, step to the side, remove your mask, consume the host, and place the mask back on. Then proceed down the aisles back to your assigned seat, again leaving six feet of distance between groups. It is imperative that you do not leave the church immediately after receiving communion. You must return to your seat in the church. When Mass has ended, you must leave the church immediately following the direction of the ushers. The ushers will empty the church using the front side doors one pew at a time. People waiting for the next Mass will already be waiting by the front doors near the circular driveway. Therefore, it's imperative you do not exit 
the church in that direction. Once again, we look forward to welcoming you back to public masses here at Our Lady Queen of Martyrs. And we just can't wait to pray together as a community together and in the parish family that we are. God bless you all. The parish community, Father Ray, the staff, and myself, Deacon Tom, welcome the Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Welcome to our Lady Queen of Martyrs. You're going to go with her. Oh, he goes on. <laughs> Maybe just point to where they're gonna. Good thing it's muted. That thing is really loud. And it looks like you're sitting in the pew behind her, based upon. Once again. Let's do this once again.